What is up everybody and welcome back to the Big Logan channel. I am your host and owner of Mountaineer Van Works. Big Logan, how you guys doing today? Kind of doing an impromptu vlog today. I have so many vans here. I got a completed project in the shop that I did not do a van tour of. This is Luna, we're gonna do that today. We've got the all new 2022 Ram Promaster outside. This is Project Nova. And we've got Nora in production right now. So things are shaking here at the lovely Mountaineer Van Works shop, HQ in West Virginia. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get this quick update vlog episode started. All right guys, so as you saw in the thumbnail, we've got a lot of vans here today. We're gonna get a quick update vlog for the one and only Mountaineer Van Works uh, to get you guys updated. So I'm gonna kind of work this backwards from newest to oldest. So we gotta run outside and go check out Project Nova. That's gonna be scheduled here, uh, late spring kickoff for that project. So let's run outside and go check her out. It's a little rainy out, so I'm gonna have to keep this short. It's all new 2020 Ram. 2022 Ram Promaster, uh, 159 inch wheelbase, high roof again. Starting with the quick walk around, the only main exterior features that I see change are a, a stubby antenna up top and a little bit different bumper mods. Some different cutouts over here, left and right. Other than that, headlights are the same and the shallow mirrors do have lighting upgraded now and still the four-way power up and down um, before we get into the van. New key fobs, and this is wireless now. So, got a two-pack here for Project Nova. Let's go inside. The interior is quite impressive. They've really done some updates here. So this isn't the big um, touchscreen, but it is the medium size offering. Let's go ahead and give her a start here. You can see a nice dash layout now. We've got our cruise control at rest on the steering wheel if you do upgrade for that, which we always do. New taller knob here. Different colors over here. Different vents. What else we got? This is new, this added storage here. This used to just be an open space. They got away with our chip clip. Uh, that's your delivery ticket holder, which I always say snacks your snack bag clip for road trips to this cubby now and uh yeah 12 volt socket up here standard now they got lightnings or usb charlies left and right and they removed them from over here beside the wheel so quick look inside i see uh no differences as far as the actual interior geometry that's in the van as far as finishing out framing as a you know someone who converts these for a living that's kind of the first place I started. Uh, I knew the dashes were gonna be updated. But this touchscreen, speaking of which, is quite nice. So we've got a nice user interface here. Uh, also, when we go into reverse now, we do have the tracking. So if I turn the wheel, you can see that we actually have the, uh, the display showing the direction of the van previewed. Still have the tow haul mode right by the shifter too. As these things are rated for over 4,500 pounds of towing. Pull on e-brake, so that's kind of new. Let's do that. Nice, with an indicator light, very handy. Might as well leave it on. And a brake indicator light. So, one other thing is the dash. See, we can go through here some of these options. This van has 18 miles on it, so have a couple more on it once I run up to the tire shop across the street. Put the Falcon Wild Peaks on it. So, yeah, pretty standard uh, offerings right here. I know if you do go with the blown out package, this display is a bit larger, and I do believe this is a digital display back here, even the gauges. Um, but this suffices, we've got lots of options here, cruise control, all kinds of goodies, and this is a great base project and price point to build these Pro Masters out, so. All 
Alrighty, what else we got shaking? Cinderella, you guys, if you haven't seen it already and click through it or over it, we do have a van tour of this beautiful 2019 Mercedes Sprinter. This is the 4x4 diesel version that was brought to me by a client. Uh, so I didn't source this van, but she has her van tour up on the channel and uh, I'll link that in the description for you. Let's get back inside. It's still raining pretty good here. All right, again, walking into the shop. So we've got our far bay is my materials bay. High bay is the active working project bay. This bay has always been our detail bay right by the main entry door. So let's go in. Lovely Luna, we're gonna get to you in a second, darling. Here is Project Nora. So Nora is going to Seattle. Same Ram Pro Master 159 inch. Let's talk about a couple options real quick on this van that the client picked. So we've got the CR Lawrence T-Vent window on the passenger side here. That's the clamped, not bonded style. So you can see here, we've got a nice ventilation port. We can bring in fresh air into here over the cooking surface and whatnot. Still doing the same interior trim out up front. However, this is a non-partition van ordered in and these are how I'm gonna start ordering them in. So we still have the real nice clean trim panel up top and we trim out around the uh, cabin heater and the captain's chairs like so. So really nice clean look there. Luxury vinyl plank floor and going in. And this van came with the Ram flooring. So check out this stuff. It's a little dirty. I've been running it out of here, guys. Look at that texture. Look at that hexagonal pattern for grip. This is a composite of about five or six laminates of wood, plus this waterproof texture up top, trimmed out really nice. So this will actually make our garage space. One thing we're offering our clients who upgrade their battery banks are 412 amp hours of lithium. So uh, our new base price has gone up as a result of Ram's vehicle pricing and what we're getting these procured at. So one thing we're gonna do is bump our base price up, but also throw in a few extras like the lithium battery bank. So lithium batteries, 412 amp hours. That's why Luna is here. She just got upgraded to her 412 amp hours of lithium. And we're gonna start doing away with the gas cooktops unless the customer specifically prefers that. But we are gonna do an 1800 watt ducks top induction cooktop. And let's check out Nora. We're gonna do an impromptu van tour right now. So. Uh, Project Nora is back. She got a couple upgrades, like I said before, 412 amp hours of lithium in her lovely utility bay left, our electrical. And again, like I've always said, guys, if we change from a deep cycle to lithium, we can simply change our chemistry for our Renogy 50 amp solar and alternator charge controller. So that was as simple as hitting a mode button. Cargo bay in here, this was the last build I did with truck bed liner. Like I said before, we're using different substrate that's highly durable. Um, again, this is uh, done only if specified by a client. So nothing wrong with the truck bed liner at all by any means, but uh, just going a different route, changing it up. So, all right, and moving up, you can see about standard. Um, we are doing our overhead cabinets to the left, our false cabinet to the right, and we'll go inside, check her out here. So king bed, back up to the doors. Outdoor shower on the right, still 30 gallon fresh water tank, tank fill up, tank drain. Access to your ball valves to shut off master water or operate your tank drain. Two and a half gallon Bosch electronic water heater that runs on 120 off the inverter. Inverter 3,500 watts. And like I said before, 412 amp hours of lithium, 50 amp solar and alternator charge controller by Renogy. And we've got the Artera distribution panel here nestled beside another cargo bay outlet and our zone cargo bay lighting so let's take a walk around we've got a luminous on luna the uh vertical drop door weatherproof box on this door i'll just close these up so you guys can see it too we've got the tire carrier by luminous over here so this rig is set one thing i did for the buyer is um, throw in the adapter to get this uh, bolt out. So that's in their recovery box that comes standard with RAM under the passenger seat. Got some nice logos. We're gonna start defaulting to the pinstriping. And unless the client does not want the Mountaineer Bandworks logo, it's definitely going on there. So you gotta spread the word, right? 
There's our Furion uh, 30 amp shore power inlet as well. That runs their air conditioner, which runs off a soft starter. So a 2000 watt generator can run this unit off grid. That's the Dometic Penguin 2 11,000 BTU air conditioning unit, which we'll look at the controls inside. Again, 400 watts of solar up here. And one thing I really like, the Fiamma roof rack and awning combo upgrade. Let's take a look at that before we do. There is the back view real quick. Woo! Okay. Break room as always, merch and swag. If you guys are ever in Summersville, West Virginia, come on down, check us out. Support Mountaineer Van Works. Grab a Sasquatch hood of your tee, a cool hat, and be cool like Big Logan. Let me tell you, back to the van tour. Oh, I love my job, you guys. Okay, so Luna we did with like a beige interior here, like beige and caramel. Photos are on the website gallery. So we've got her all lit up here. Isotherm 130 liter refrigerator. That's the Cruise Elegance line. Our control panel as normal nestled behind the junk drawer and butcher block set. That's nestled right underneath our overhead cabinets with our 700 watt Black & Decker stainless microwave and carrying on more to our shallow overheads near the convertible king bed. So again, we've got Oafon, our black faucet fixture, pump handle for soap, and a single gas cooktop burner. So one other thing we added to Luna was an electric Fiamma awning. So we can just actuate that fold it right out. This is handier than a pocket watch. That is pretty handy. So um, I really like the hand cranks. This is an added up upgrade for sure. But y'all let me know what you think. This guy can extend if you watch the videos of Roxy or Van Tour video or build updates. This can easily get all the way to the office here. This is a good uh, nine and a half feet. It goes way out. So pretty cool. I'm not going to take it out any further because you got to pop the legs down on these Fiamas. So we're just gonna extend that back. I'm sorry, retract it. There she goes. Pretty cool. Nestled right at home just like that. This button is hardwired to the battery bank, but put it at a spot where it's not gonna get hit going down the road. Right behind our little outdoor table. We'll put those on all the builds. Coming on in, touch dimmer. Uh, 120 volt outlets here, here, and down here. Touch dimmers localized for this side of the van under the cabinets for your dinette seating and your junk drawer area. And here's our convertible shower, a staple for Mountaineer Van Works and highly requested by all our current clients for this year. So again, this is the butcher block top, which we can just simply pull up. And our overhead cabinet, which also pulls up to reveal our indoor shower and our shower pan made of the best stuff out there, Flex Seal, baby. I'm telling you guys, this is a great product for custom geometry shower pans. I love it. I still use this in all the van builds. So what we have here, a lot of people ask, hey, you don't have the toilets in your vans. Uh, we don't supply them, but we do recommend these. So um, you could do a cassette, you could do a composting plugged in not gonna have a lot of room to stand around here though, so we don't highly recommend that. This is the Lavio Dry Flush System. Um, you can get this at Shop Tiny Houses, uh, coming out of, I believe, Oregon. Um, it's battery powered and portable, so I can simply lift this up, it's not that heavy, and at nighttime, move it right here when the door's closed. So put your window covering up, have your toilet sit right here, that way you can exit and enter the bed easily at night Come use the bathroom if you need to right here. So uh, as you guys have probably seen, this is a convertible king bed. So again, to actuate the bed, you simply close your butcher block down and clear that space and just slide that out. So um, if you guys aren't familiar with that, check out Peggy's Van Tour video, check out Cleo's Van Tour video, check out Roxy's Van Tour video. We deploy this bed and uh, it folds out nicely. Not gonna get into that as, like I said, this is a current client's van. Just brought it back in for upgrades, so I'm gonna leave things nice and tidy here. So, pass through door as well. All our builds, we like to create a partition between the living space and the garage space, but you can still utilize this large aisle way 
put a kayak through here, put fishing rods through here, roll up a throw mat for when you're boondocking under your awning or beside your van. Put bike tires through here so we try and maximize that passenger door and as you can see here we cram it against the chair cubby and we cram it against the shower pan so different uh, upholstery pattern here and again that table drops down makes a couch here guys we are jamming on these builds and love all the options we get to put in here for our clients so um this is a 2021 ram pro master so similar options and features there same blackout curtains made custom by my mom, Mama Dukes. Thank you, shout out. <laughs> and finally, we got our AC uh, controller here. So this is the Dometic uh, manual control for uh, air conditioning only. It does not have the heating element. So um, it's the Micro Air Easy Start 360 is the soft starter that runs the Dometic up top like we talked about before. 2000 watt generator, they use the Honda 2200 uh, generator that um, has a 15 amp output receptacle on it, runs that AC unit just fine without popping the breaker. Guys, I'm out of breath, we ran through that. We've got so much shaking at Mountaineer Van Works. Thank you so much for your support and following along. We love to hear your feedback. I try to get to your comments. Try and prove me wrong. I'm trying to get back to you guys, laying in bed at night, looking at stuff during my lunch breaks and all that. Um, while I'm doing emails, I'm looking at my YouTube comments and you followers, you guys are great. Uh, appreciate you guys so much. Can't wait to see what comes out of the shop here later this year and what you guys bring me as far as your custom project. How can I make your dreams come true? Let's have a chat, let's talk. Guys, as always, please like this video if you thought it was entertaining and informative. Smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Come talk to me on the Big Logan channel. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, y'all.